We're confronting a worldwide epidemic of vitamin D deficiency. And I'm frequently asked, why? Why now? Uh, and the answer basically is a huge change in lifestyle. Uh, it's helpful to remember that we evolved in equatorial East Africa wearing no clothes. We had sun exposure 365 days of the year, and we made a lot of vitamin D in our skins. As we moved north into Europe and higher latitudes, we adapted to the cold by developing clothing and shelter, but we were still outdoors a lot. But today, most of us are indoors during most of the day, even children. And as a result, survey after survey shows severe vitamin D deficiency at essentially all ages in the population. The important thing is to check the level in a population of people. The serum 25-hydroxy vitamin D is the way we assess this. The value should be somewhere between 100 and 150 nanomoles per liter. There are a lot of ways to fix that, but the important thing is to satisfy yourself that there's a problem and then take steps that are appropriate for you and for your culture to make the necessary changes. The industrialized nations carry a crushing burden of chronic disease that includes osteoporosis, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, impaired resistance to infection, multiple sclerosis, on and on and on. Vitamin D deficiency contributes some fraction to all of those disorders. And if we can correct the vitamin D status of our population by whatever means is appropriate for that population, we will reduce that burden of chronic disease. It's safe, it's inexpensive, and it's likely to yield enormous health benefits. So I think the message is test, reassure yourself that there's a problem in my population, and then take whatever steps are necessary in order to change that to improve the vitamin D status of everybody.